just arrived at the studio. It's another beautiful day, snow, sun, perfect. But there is one thing I enjoy even more and that is just spending the entire day in the studio. Especially since today it's all about speakers. Three main parts to speakers. First, I got new speakers. I broke some speakers, very expensive speakers. And third, I'm getting even bigger speakers. I'll explain everything, but let's let's just start with like the new stuff. You gotta love me or let me go. These right here are not studio speakers. These are actually consumer speakers, but there is a special reason and thinking behind why these here in the studio. I'll explain everything. They actually look really nice. I, I love I love the, the shape of them. These are by Teufel. I, I think it's a German company. I mean, the, the name it's very German. It comes with Alexa and it's like, like a typical at home wireless Wi-Fi Bluetooth speaker that most people use. <sighs> Satisfying every single time. Power brake. And here we got the second one, same thing. There is also a reason why I got two of these. On the back, very simple. There is like a reset button. There is an input for power and an input for aux. Just plug in a cable, any device, and it will play music. What I already like is there's like this red rubber stuff underneath. Makes it like stick nicely to the table. Well, that's of course just additional stuff. Most important is the sound. And you might now ask maybe why, why do I need in the studio if I have these huge bad boys, why do I need something small for consumers? And there's a very important reason and I think most of you know it, but let me explain really briefly why. You see this entire setup where making music is like optimized to the max. This entire room is like almost flat frequency response. So the room doesn't change the sound that I'm hearing from the speakers. The sweet spot is calculated. Like I calculated a lot, built it a lot to get the most perfect sound I could achieve. The thing is I sit here and make music so I need to know how it sounds. But then again, everyone listening to my music doesn't have a room like this, not even close to this, doesn't have speakers that are that big, that expensive. They just don't have that kind of stuff. And I want to make sure that the music that I create still holds up and still sounds good whenever someone plays it at home with normal speakers. And for a long while I had these just right here on the table. These are like the cheapest you can buy on Amazon. And they're they're good and being bad and tell me what's actually happening, but they're they're so bad that it doesn't tell me anything. Especially if someone calls me on my phone, they make weird noises and hearing it on my big speakers might damage them or just damage my ear. And let's be honest, people that buy this to listen to music, I shouldn't really worry about these kind of people. These people I don't address. Someone that just gets the cheapest to have any kind of sound doesn't really care for sound quality. So if they hear my music a little less good than I attended, then that's just the way it is. And I think these right here are a way better representation of what most people have right now. A smart speaker. This is a hi-fi speaker, probably among the best in its class. It has like a two-way system and it's firing up. It's, it's like 360 for the entire room. So people will buy it, put it probably in their kitchen in the middle, talk to Alexa. It can also do Alexa and all that smart speaker feature stuff. And actually two of my friends where I know that they are music listening nerds, not audiophiles, but music listening nerds, they like to listen to music, actually recommended these to me. That's what they're listening to music. They told me they prefer it because you get more for the money than um, with Sonos, for example. And there's another reason that I still need to test because um, everything here in this room affects the sound. If I leave an empty water bottle, in here, you can hear it. Certain frequencies make it resonate depending on how much water is in there and, and it bothers me. And having bigger speakers in here might also, they might also react to the sound, especially forward facing woofers. It's just a box with a membrane. It will start vibrating whenever the other speaker is on. So I hope these won't do it, or at least to, to a minimum, since they have like a completely different design. But uh, yeah, let's let's just hook them up and listen to some music. I know, 
this is <laughs> maybe a little overkill, but any kind of speaker I'm using, I always test it with the measurement mic. And as you know, this room right here is very, very flat, plus minus three, four dB over the entire frequency spectrum. And this speaker actually holds up really well. The graph looks very smooth, very flat, except of course for the, the low end, there's like a significant roll of starting at 100 Hertz. And then from 50 down, it just goes down. But I mean, that's expected for something this size. Bass always correlates with size. But I think for home use and everything, it's totally fine. And again, for me, the most important is having something that represents what most people listen to and having something that kind of like spreads the sound into all directions. Because I only have front facing studio speakers right here. So I need something to double check what it sounds like in other places with other systems, but still at a, at a higher kind of quality. Because let's be honest, if, if you start checking your music on, on a phone to make it work on a phone, yes, that's nice and whatnot, but you're sacrificing way too much. So I try to make my music for people that actually care about music. And I think caring about music starts right there anyway and i'm going to get atc speakers 110s the yeah in my opinion the best speaker money can buy yes there are way more expensive speakers but the the ones more expensive aren't better and they just charge you a premium because they sell it to rich people that don't have a clue if you look in any kind of studio it's usually atc pmc sometimes Nah, barefoots, I, I think like for mastering and mixing, it's ATC and PMC. And I tested the ATC ones in several studios and I just absolutely love them. Like the mid woofer is insane. It's the best on the planet. So that's what I'm getting. Highly expensive. The most expensive thing I ever bought, will ever buy. And hopefully I will then stop, but it's like the last no it's actually not there is more coming but it's one of the few last kind of stones to complete this entire studio so we're really looking forward to it it might take two three months because they have to be custom made but excited very excited and i know some people will ask me why it's not necessary but as i already explained i do a lot of mixing and mastering right now and i always think i owe it to the customer to to be able to make like the most precise and best decisions I can possibly make. And I think these speakers are without a doubt the top, top, top level you can get. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching the rest of the day. Music making, a little more measuring. If you're interested in these speakers, oh, wait. It's linked down below, but I, I forgot to explain why a second, because they're mono, they're not stereo. I mean, you could put like two cables in there and send left and right to them. But there is actually, like the one reason why I got two is actually that I have a second studio down here. That's the B studio with the vocal booth. It's a little more chill, the acoustics are less good, but having the same speaker down here gives me like a reference point. I might start a song right here in a session, sing a songwriter, a guitar player, and then maybe start already sound designing, mixing a little, and I can listen to it down here on this speaker and have the same speaker up and kind of calibrate my brain to where it was kind of before. Anyway, so I hope this makes sense. I'll test it and let you know in a couple of days how it's actually working. We'll see us tomorrow back again right here for more music. You gotta